Hi everyone and welcome back to Make It Monday with Stamp with Anna. Today I'm going to make another card using the um, Carols of Christmas stamp set. This stamp set is going to be featured in the holiday catalog which goes live on September 1st. However, beginning tomorrow, August 1st, it is available for a pre-order um, and it comes with the coordinating card front builders thinlets. They are available as a bundle which means 10% discount if you buy both pieces and if you took advantage of bonus days um, that went on in July, today is the last day, um, with every $50 you spent, you got a $5 coupon to be uh, redeemed during August. You can take the coupons that you earned and put that towards this pre-order. So um, that's exciting news. So for today's card, <clears throat> um, I started with a card front. My card base, excuse me, is Cajun Craze, 8.5 by 5.5 scored at 4 and a quarter. And then I have a piece of... Cajun Craze five and a quarter by four by four, and that is my card front. See, this is um, is raised up on stamp and dimensionals. So the first thing I did to do to make this card was I needed to apply my embossing paste to make my brick, and so that I knew where I needed to put my. Um, embossing paste. I took a piece of an old a square of um, cardstock and <clears throat> roughly the size this one's a little this one's a little smaller but I took one roughly the size of the fireplace and I put I would obviously put some uh, protective paper down on your work surface. I took the brick template which is from the pattern party masks which is in the new catalog I placed that down where how I wanted it to be and then I took my template here and then I applied my embossing powder my embossing paste all over here my objective was not to get any paste inside my fireplace so doing it this way I was able to um, achieve that when I was done applying my embossing paste, I took my uh, template away and then I quickly went and washed my mask because the embossing paste does dry very quickly. So I had to wash that and my um, knife applicator right away. So after that was done, I put this aside to dry, put the bricks aside to dry. While it was drying, I did all of my die cutting and what I did to, in order to make my frame in the um, thinlet set that goes with the carols of Christmas there is this die. The way this die was meant to be used was to cut out a frame on a card. So what you do is you cut it out this on this side then you line it up and you cut it on that side and you end up with a frame in the middle of your card. But in order to make the fireplace, I only needed half of that. So what I did was I took a piece of um, soft suede and I ran it through, but just pretend this is soft suede. I ran it through the die machine, the big shot, and this is what I got. So here's the outside of my my frame. So then I needed to just cut out the inside. So what I did was I brought in my paper trimmer and I cut off the excess there. Then I decided how far in I wanted that to go and I cut that off of both sides. And then I needed to line this slice up with this slice. So I lined that up oh, right about here I think. And I connected those two cuts. And that gave me my frame, my fireplace. 
like I said, pretend it's, pretend it's uh, soft suede. So that's how I made the frame. Um, also, while this was drying, I did all of my ornaments and my um, garland. How I did my ornaments was I um, stamped the ornament in three different colors. I did Berry Burst, Daffodil Delight, and Lemon Lime Twist. And then I die cut them out with the coordinating die that's in the set. And I attached little rhinestones in each one. And I put them aside. Then I worked on my holly. I stamped the, the holly from the stamp set. And here it is right here. I stamped, I think, 13 of them. And then I die cut each one out with the die. I only cut one at a time, so that took a while. And I put those aside. By that time, my embossing, powder, my embossing paste was dry. So I, before I put my, my fireplace down, I stamped the ornament right onto the... Um, card base, the front of my card, and this is the, the stamp, and I just stamped once and stamped twice, and that, I, used, I did it in uh, basic gray, and that's how I got my strings that the um, ornaments are hanging from. After I did that, I attached my frame, my fireplace, to the card base, the card front. I then attached mini glue dots to all my ornaments and hung them. And then for the holly, I mean for the garland, I attached um, one layer of them, which was like six, directly onto the card front. And then the other ones, I put a little mini glue dot on the back of it and popped those up. And for the little berries, I used uh, Dazzling Details and Cherry Cobbler. It's retired, but I have it, so I love to use it. And that's how I got my little sparkly um, berries. The stamp set does have a tiny little berry stamp right there. So you could go in and do that in um, real red or cherry cobbler or whatever you want. Then I took um, some cherry cobbler ribbon, tied a bow, attached it, and voila, it's done. It did take a bit of time because these took a long time to die cut. Um, I wouldn't suggest making this card for everyone on your Christmas card list. If you have a large Christmas card list, 100 or so, that's a lot of work, cutting all of these out. But um, it is a great little card to send to someone special, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about how I made this card, I will be very, very glad to answer that for you. Just contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And I hope you come back tomorrow for a Technique Tuesday um, card. And we will again be using the Carols of Christmas uh, stamp. And um, well, I'll be doing that all week because I really want you to sh want to show you all the many, many different designs that you can use this stamp set for and ways to use this bundle. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.